I have known Claudio for quite some time, though both of us have been through much together and have grown with each other. Now there are some topics in this best man speech that I've been told to avoid by the happy couple. <laughs> oh dear Claudio, thou hast been married to thine wonderful hero. Though she be, she be far less fair than mine, Beatrice. <laughs> she is nonetheless a good wife for Claudio. The relationship hath been off to a rocky start. Sorry, Margaret. <laughs> but alas, they have proved their love to each other through death. Now that Claudio and I have found love, there are no real bachelors in our company, save Don John, but I'll find someone eventually. <laughs> These two lovely people I've only known hero for a short while, but uh, even even with that short while, I know she's going to be a great wife to Claudio. And uh, Claudio, I got to tell you some advice, all right, pal? In my short experience, keep your wife happy and fed, all right? Lest she rip off your head. <laughs> <laughs> to the newlyweds. People like it to always say that Lo love is fine, but I don't, I don't really believe in that at all. After all, anyone who's ever been within a, a 20 mile radius of, of this couple can clear, clear, clearly see how much they are in love. And I would like make, make a coast to new events that they love, all of, that they, their love will always be. <clears throat> be as dull as the sun, and that dove of theirs will only get stranger each passing time. And <clears throat> without their lovely marriage, <clears throat> without their marriage, I wouldn't be Salber Sass. Because, as you all know, before this marriage, I, I was assless. But now, I am the ass. I would like to thank that Claud <coughs> Claudio for baking off this marriage for the first, first time. I, I'm the honorary to be ass in this ceremony, and I would like to offer my services to anyone who needs it. Methinks thou hast spoken enough. Well, <laughs> Thou will retire. Remember me, Dad. Here stands I in the Messina prison with everybody's favorite bastard, Don John. So, Johnny, what grievance hast damned thee to waste in confinement? Is a question better posed to thy mother. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I see thy spirits remain up. Pray thee, couldst thou inform the gallery wherefore thou art truly imprisoned? Aye. <coughs> Mayhaps I has presumably convinced their highnesses Lord Claudio and my brethren Don Pedro that hero whom Claudio had so dearly noted was noting more than a lowly wanted. Sounds! What couldst have provoketh thou to commit such heinous trespass? Because my brother is nothing but a fat gutted, thick, scold, short armed knave, whose ego couldest be matched only by his incompetence. Such strong and foul language. Prithee, why dost thou despise thy brethren so? How canest thou not? He is a downright cumbergrant, the most awful, dim witted form a man can take. His brain must be pea sized, be it not smaller. Though, even it must seem large when compared to his weapon, if one could manage to call it that. A dagger would be more precise, though the fool is so hard-headed that it's surely anything but. Come, thou must have compliments of some sort to attribute to him. I suppose Don Pedro has to act to improve the perceived intelligence of those around him, such that even Athena's wisdom could not compare. Pray thee, cousin, 
How doth Don Pedro maketh another man seem wiser? By standing near him. Methinks thee shall thud halt thy exceeding cruelty. Be there a message thou wouldst care to deliver to the Lord Claudio and his fair hero? Only that I wish their marriage is finished earlier than thy Claudio. Oh, damn. Oh, the hour is terribly late. I must retire. Good riddance, scoundrel. Methinks a headache approaches. Why is everything such an issue with you, woman? Maybe if you weren't such a buffoon, it wouldn't be. What the hell are you even talking about? You being an ass. Oh, I can't even believe you would say that to me. You claim to love me, yet your behavior has not changed since we met. Beatrice, I am so lost. What did I do wrong? No. You don't get off that easy. No, is, it, is it because I didn't kiss you at the dance? Is that what this is about? No, but you're not helping yourself. Oh my lord, I cannot deal with you, woman. You are a foolish man. I thought you had your wits about you, but perhaps it was just too much praise from others. Now I assure you my wits are about me. It's just impossible to use my wits when I'm dealing with such a fool. Oh, I'm the fool, huh? You're the fool too stupid to give his wife a jacket when she is cold. You're joke. That's what this is all about? Yes. Oh my god. You, you call my brain minuscule, but alas, I'm not the one throwing a tantrum for a simple misunderstanding and foresight. I'm the one thinking logically with my brain while you sit here and fret. You are a damn fool, Benedict. Rolling. <laughs> okay. Here stands in the Messina prison with everybody's favorite bass Don John. So Johnny. Is a question better posed to thy Speak up. Ha ha ha. I I see thy spirit. Is nothing but a fat skull, thick skull. Nope. <laughs> How much they are in love. <laughs> of, the, of this lovely couple. Fuck. <laughs> Make a toast to these two newlyweds. <laughs> <laughs> Always be it as dull as the sun. <laughs> Get stranger each passing day. <laughs> Um, and that this dumb of theirs. <laughs> and <clears throat> without their lovely marriage, <clears throat> before this marriage, I was I was assless. <laughs> Jesus. As director, I give you permission. As... As what? Let's <laughs> put the lights over you got there. Yeah. Like Samuel L. Jackson. Got there, Jonathan. You still haven't gotten it yet. Karen. It's been 20 minutes. Did, okay. you say, did you say Karen? Yeah, from SpongeBob. No, no, but my mom's name is. Karen. Yes, I'm aware, but I was <laughs> referencing the television from SpongeBob. Well, you Rolling. You're a damn fool, Benedict. doing. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, true. Sorry. <laughs>